slap knowing I'm doing it. Alright y'all, back at it again. This is a, uh, the third episode, no, fourth episode actually. I'm with my dad, Robert. Stay crushing, if y'all remember back in the day. This is the Rocket Bunny Man. If you ever see an authentic Rocket Bunny kit on some magazine or on some ad for Greddy or something like that, it's his car. Um, we're gonna might be. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of just old news now. <laughs> he's, 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 he's old school. Old school. You gotta respect <laughs> that shit. He came before y'all. Before all these bullshit replicas came out. We're gonna talk about that later. I wanted to talk about just from the beginning because a lot of people don't know. Like, all right, like, where are you from? When did you get in the cars? Um, man, when did I get in the cars? I mean, I've been into it since I was like five or six years old. My uncle had this little Honda when no one else had those mm -hmm. back in the 90s. And he had it all tricked out with like OZ racing wheels and the Yokohama Advent tires. Hot, that was 90s hot. Yeah, Man. I mean, New Speed and Ibox stuff. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was nuts. New Speed, NEU Speed, that, oh yeah. man, that's the old, going through the magazines, like, man, I want that when I get a car, and that when I get a car, yeah. So, so that was the thing, is he had this little old Honda Accord even with little seat belts that retract, which some 240s happen, but let's be honest, none of those work. <laughs> like, like, fuck no. <laughs> just, Hell no, nothing yeah. automatic in the 240, fully packaged, fuck no. Uh, this is from the East Coast. <laughs> yeah. yeah any Either West way, that still brushed it out. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so he loved to take turns. I mean, the car was slow as shit uh, when you would go in a straight line, but man, it would handle good. Yeah. And so, fast forward, God, like, probably about 10, 11 years, and I got my first car. I almost killed myself in it. I had, an, I had an MR2 <laughs> Turbo, my first car. Uh, Bad decision. <laughs> um, my, the boxing one or the spider? Uh, no, I had a little turbo one. Oh. Yeah, uh, 93. Oh, shit, like yeah. the real one. Yeah, the, the real one. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking hot. All right, so that's scary. That's a death trap. Yeah, <laughs> and I spun the car out doing about 60 or 70. I didn't know how to drive or anything like that. I, I had my permit. And here I am driving around in this boosted, uh, in this boosted MR2, almost kill myself. Uh, I guess my aunt or my uncle had seen it happen. <laughs> they you know, my my, uh, my mom and all that. He's gonna play it off like nothing ever happened. Yeah. They, they forced me to sell the car like a week oh, later. I cool. got whatever I got out of it, so I was like, whatever. It, it, I'll take a loss as a loss. Yeah. Um, and then I was in a. Uh, let's see, what did I get after that? Oh, I had a, a normal Nissan Sentra, just completely normal. And my family was trying to get me away from cars because mm. the nature of like my uncle and all that stuff. They seen what he was doing in the nineties, yeah. spending a bunch of money on a car. You and know. then they see me and all the same thing, so. man. That's what's up. That's family lineage, man. You gotta you gotta keep it going. That, that's in your blood. <laughs> so so then after that, I mean, I went through a couple cars. Like I had a uh, I had a little E thirty, blew the motor up in that. Um, what else did I have? Oh, then I had a, a Sentra, but the Spec V. Yeah, I had a Spec V recently, and that shit blew on me. I didn't know that the OEM headers drank oil from that engine like crazy. Mm -hmm. I had the 2.5, not the 2.0, not the squiggly one. I was I was so in in depth with the the Sentra community, mm -hmm. but man, when that motor blew, I was so hurt. I only spent 1,200 bucks. 16. Wait, what year did you have? It was a O three. Okay. 203, it was six speed, had the BBKs on it. I put um, five Zigans on it, uh, F and O one RCs. Oh, wow, yeah. I remember the five Zigans. Yeah, man, I, I had to go old school, yeah, because it was period correct. It, it, it yeah. came with the car, I didn't put them on, but it was period correct. Everything was clean on it. Um, it was fun, man. I used to run that damn thing. And, well, it was a fun car, but I had, a, I had, yeah, I had an 07, and then I modded that thing. Uh, actually took the car to SEMA, believe it or not. Whoa. Yeah. When's your first? Oh, we'll talk about SEMA later. I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's dope. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> There's some stuff I can't talk about no, that I haven't seen. You're good, bro. I, already, I, already, I just said the craziest thing that you can talk about that you can't legally get in trouble for past the statute of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I had that 07 out there. Had it turboed, I had bridge seats in there. Uh, at the time I had these Graham Light Nismo wheels and then I ended up having work Emotion 11 R's. Mm. Uh, what year is this? This was either 08 or 09. Bro, I was a freshman, I think. Yeah. Like, in the cars, but like, knowing like, okay, I'm not gonna get a car. My mom's not gonna buy me a car. I'm just gonna smoke weed. <laughs> that was like, yeah. oh, until I got out of high school, then I started really getting into it. But yeah, fuck man, 08, that. Yeah. I'm young, bro. I graduated 11, man. You probably graduated, what, like 67? No. <laughs> uh, no, I graduated 07. Oh, okay. All right, I got friends. All right, you was only a couple years. I, I, I was going to school with y'all. All right, cool. I remember that. <laughs> so, so here's the crazy thing is like that stupid Sentra, it was like, Full color change paint, carbon hood trunk, carbon roof. Uh, Got the interior had uh, the Schroth white harnesses, had the Brid seats. Uh, fuck, what else did I have? Front rear BBK, the work wheels. Mm -hmm. I had 8007s on the car. In like, 08, like those work wheels are like brand new. Those are yeah, I actually was the first car with them on it. But how much were they? Uh, they weren't that bad because I I had a pretty good relationship at the time with AKH. Um, so this is when Jim was still there. He left over to Weds, but back before that, mm -hmm. uh, me and him were, were pretty cool with each other. Now we're still friends, but uh, I just I have a diehard love for work wheels, man. So <laughs> yeah. it's hard to switch. Took, you took your virginity, man. Yeah. I, I love her, man. I can't get away from her. You you never had anything else to just work. No, I mean, I've had other wheels, like, but there's just... Something about work. Yeah, there's something, <laughs> something about, about work. work. There's something about work. So, basically, after that whole build happened, there was some, like, mishaps with that. I kind of got over the newer cars, and I, I was working at the time at Verizon. I was just slanging phones in a mall, mm -hmm. and this 240 popped up. <laughs> and I come to find out it was actually a Boso built 240. Oh, what? I got it for a pretty good deal. There was some like sketchy shit on the back of the car that like, you said it was Boso built, right? It was Boso built. Well, it was gonna be sketched. The whole build is sketched. It's beautiful though, man. I want to get 45 driving. So, so here's the, so here's the funny. No, no, wasn't. It, no, I'm talking about Garage Boso. Mm. Yeah. So the motor was done by Garage Boso. So, oh, I thought I didn't think like you. Yeah. Sharp nose, thin, fat. No, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. No. <laughs> so, so everything was cool, but the rear suspension, you could tell like someone had tapped a curb or something, they didn't really fix it, mm -hmm. so, yes. I mean, so, the, but here's the cool thing is like, I was friends with the guys at Phase 2, so I got all the suspension arms I needed for like 200 bucks, so next thing you know, cars, connections, man, yeah. and, and, and drenched in the community, this is why I have him on here, this is, this is, this is history right here. This is this is like legit history. I feel like I'm like an old like You're not old, but in the car scene you're kinda old because everybody in the oh, car scene's like 17, 16. They start getting into it like really early now because their parents are buying them cars and shit. So yeah. 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 I, it's getting like that now where you see kids with Evos and shit like, bro. I'm like, damn, I wish I could have an Evo. Right, bro? I was, I was like, my mom loves me, but she don't love me like that. My yeah. God, your parents adore you to get you yeah. that shit, because maybe it's tough love. Maybe they just want me to get it on my own, but fuck, man, a whole Evo, a whole ass Evo, and it's, it's, it's hooked up. Like, and the thing is, now the, the Evo 8s and 9s are worth more than the 10s. Right? Like... They're like, in some case, you get Evo 10 for like 15, 16 grand. 16,000, 101,000 miles on it, like 80, 90,000 miles on it. Them Evo 9s be like 120, I need 19. I need 19 in stock. I need 19. No, even more than that, some of them are mid-20s now. I'm like, this what? Is like, when was yeah. that? What the fuck? Yeah, oh, dude, they're going whoa. up in value. <laughs> I saw one dude actually two weeks ago, he listed three brand new, like less than 100 mile uh, Evo 9s. I, I don't know if it was at South Coast or something, but they're selling for like 70 or 80 rad feet. They're worth it. <coughs> they're worth every penny. I mean, <coughs> where are you ever going to find a zero mile or a hundred, a 60 mile Evo 9? It's un, unmoles unmolested isn't even a word. Yeah, it's just. It hasn't even been fucked yet. It's just, yeah. it's just 
a virgin car like if you got into a time machine that's like those people who got by the cars and put them in the, the bubbles and just mm -hmm. let it sit in the garage that's basically i think what they did so they took a car that original was like 30 and now they're selling it for like almost three times what it was and i know they're gonna sell you're gonna have those guys that that youtube money, I have money. yeah i have money i'm gonna get this like right now i need it i don't care how much it is yeah, they could have put it for a hundred thousand to be honest they probably just put it for 70 so they can get rid of them but well, there actually was one that sold like that. It was at South Coast. That dude Sam, the the big dude, he sold one I think for like a hundred and ten or hundred and twenty on eBay, like brand new. I mean, they still had the fucking plastics on the seats. Uh, that's I don't know why people don't do that right now. Like I have a friend who has an MK4. Um, shout out to my Griffin. Um, he has a, a MK4. I told him like. Bro, he got it for such a steal. Like, I mean, ridiculous steal. I told him, why don't you sell that? Because people are offering him money. Mm -hmm. I was like, why don't you sell that? Go get a new MK5. Have fun with it for like a thousand miles. Go get one of the air bubbles and go put it somewhere. Go sit it somewhere for like five years. Not even a lot of years. If you just do five years, the first mm -hmm. edition cars with under a thousand miles, you can sell that car for a hundred thousand all day keep making the payment or you don't even have to make payments on it you sold the mk4 that you could oh yeah you easily paid off i mean dude now the old nsx's are going for like 70 or 80. really yeah they're they're climbing everyone wants the old cars they want the old supras they want the old rx7s they want all that no one wants the rx8 though no, <laughs> hell no the rx8 is trash the rx8 is great for swapping Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it handles better than the RX-7, but it looks like crap. The re 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 Renesis. Renesis. Everybody, I don't even have an RX-7 or any kind of rotary motor. I call them unreliable triangles. I don't yeah. fuck with them unreliable triangles, <laughs> but everybody who I know that does, they always tell me, bro, don't get it. My neighbor had one. He just had problems with it. Problems. And they get like problems. eight miles of the gallon and they burn oil. And every every. 3,500 miles of the after, I gotta go take the motor out of blue the, blue the seal. What the fuck yeah. are you, what are you doing? I'm revving hard. Why? Like, you know yeah. this shit's a ticking time bomb. I don't even drive it, like, and then he sold it for 10. I was like, what, what, what do you mean he sold it for 10,000? Like, how do you sell, I mean, I had a friend that just ended up letting the car just rot. He, yeah. Like, I can't even sell it. Like, no one will even give me a thousand bucks for the car. He had, he had it all ported out and shit. I don't yeah, know you can't it. even, you can't even, part the car out because no one wants to no, buy it has an rx8 like yeah they're like oh wait, i want to buy more useless parts for a useless car i'd say that's <laughs> one of the top like three cars that i hate i'm about to make a post about that i gotta make something by the time i get home oh, you're, yeah. you're gonna see it on facebook it's gonna be a post about an rx8 and you're yeah. gonna laugh because but you're so right that rx8 it, is just like the stepchild that nobody ever wanted like you came into the relationship like Ugh. well think of it <laughs> this way so RX-7, beautiful car, two doors, all that stuff. I wasn't into the door handles because when those things broke, it was kind of a, a pain to deal with, but... And let's worry, this little bit stupid as fuck. Oh, why? But here's the thing. The RX-8, now you have these weird, like, half suicide... Suicide doors, yeah. Yeah, the triangles in the seats, everything feels like a Mazda Renault car, like, inside the car, and then you have a motor that makes no power, that gets worse <laughs> mileage than a I have. A, I have a theory on why that car does so shit. It is just a theory. I bought the made it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I even, even think that. I think because Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Now let me think. Like I gotta get real deep with it. I'm, I'm high. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who had the RX-8 and Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift? Think real hard, dude. I haven't seen that movie in forever, right? Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I, I'm just all about that OG movie. Yeah, let, let, let me refresh your memory. Who was annoying as fuck throughout the whole movie? A female character. You're about to get some, like, you're about to get some unfollows. And <laughs> no, it's not even that. <clears throat> you know the chick that he was, like, fighting for the whole movie with, for DK and... You, oh yeah, yeah. She drove the R H eight. She was kind of fucking annoying. So I feel like since Fast and the Furious has already dictated the market for certain cars, they picked her to drive that. And it just ruined it. It ruined it for me. It ruined it for me when I was a kid. You know, every single time I seen it, I was like, "That's the girl's car." <laughs> what's that one chick that was on that Rob Deerdick show? The one with the annoying laugh. 
I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like having that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, when you think about it, baby, you put Chanel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chanel West Coast. Chanel West Coast. That's, that's, that's the post. Oh, my, I gotta oh tell my you, God. Baby. That's the post. The R I say is the Chanel West Coast of the car scene. Oh, it's no. Literally, <laughs> it is, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how can you find a worse car? Like, I mean, at least the eight miles of the gallon would have been okay if it was turboed or something. But like, it's like, no, let's put four doors instead of two. Let's make the car like this weird triangle bubble thing. And, and let's get a motor. Let's make it a shitty motor, shittier yeah. <laughs> and un more unreliable and put it in there. But here's the crazy part. So the RX-8, actually has one of the best suspensions that Mazda ever made. Really? Yeah. If you put an LS1 in there, I guarantee you, you will kick everyone's ass in autocross. Really? Everybody's, because I remember like a long time ago, when, when I got into cars, like really got into cars, I was working at the dispensaries, like on like the marijuana and shit, and the guys who owned the dispensaries, they were in the cars, like they had like a whole shop they were funding through the weed, like, and they had skylines and everything. And this is 2011, like, the, like the end of 2000. I just got out of high school. Mm -hmm. I I told my mom I just want to take a year for for college. I don't want to go straight into college. I started doing the weed shit. Got in the cars. I got my first car, BMW, February 13th of 2012, and February 27th. That shit was in the tree. <laughs> I put that shit into a tree. Oh had God. no license, no anything, and then when I crashed it, I, I had to like <laughs> the the transmission like pushed up, so like it was just a steaming hot pile of shit. My door didn't open. <laughs> the window was all crashed, so I had to like break it open. Uh, you're like, I had to wrong. shimmy my big ass out of the car. I fell out the car. I was like, oh my god, my man. Car. He's all like, what <laughs> in the hell? <laughs> this happened. This is real shit. I was like, oh, my car. <laughs> I was like my car. I was like I just I just I just fucking crashed my car. I was like teared up. I was like fuck. I was like oh shit, I weed in the car. I went to the car. I had an ounce. I just threw it over the fence. Whatever the house that was, them niggas was lucky. I threw a, I threw a half a box of Swisher sweets and a whole ounce in that backyard. I was like uh uh. The, the cop came by. He was like who was driving it? I was like I was driving it. He was like, what happened? He was like, ah. <laughs> it was raining. He was like, you were going uphill though. Look, uh, it doesn't matter what, which which direction I was going, I crashed. <laughs> and yeah, they gave me, they didn't give me a ticket. He just said, go get your license. And I, I had a permit, like I passed the written test. And so I had like, like, obviously like, not the driving <laughs> test. I didn't even Man. Think it. Uh, yeah, oh. but yeah, that's how I got in the cars and shit. The real Chanel West Coast of the car. Yeah, <laughs> real shit. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that man. shit's sad. It, it's that, that's 2000. I don't know, it's, it's good shit. But. I mean, I can't really say much because, like, two weeks after I had that MR2 is when I spun it out. I didn't. See, I didn't understand the concept of the rear end coming out on an MR2, and unless you've driven one of those cars. The motor's in the back. Oh my god, dude. When that thing goes, it goes. And I didn't understand, like, oh, you're supposed to turn the wheel the other way and not lift off the gas. I did everything wrong. I was like, oh, if I just turn more this way, it'll correct. Lift, stab the brakes. Dude, I spun so many times straight going down the street. I don't know how it didn't hit anything. I really don't. Like, I should have read it. an MR2 and, yeah, <laughs> and do it had value. Whoever has it right now, that shit's for like, how much? Like 19000 15000 No, I, I mean, still, overall, I hate to say it. Like, I've had both that and the Spider. Like, they're just not very good cars. They're fun, but... You're hurting a lot of a niche, a niche group of people right I know, now. I know. I've had, I've had the SW20 and I've also had the, Z, the little ZZW or whatever. I actually like the Spider more really? because it was like a convertible Hachi, the way how it drove. It very, what year was it? Uh, I had a 2002. How much did you spend? Like, I, I, didn't, I never knew what oh, the value the, was. Like. I got the car for like 2500 bucks. Oh. I, yeah. I mean, think about it, dude. It's got a one. Oh, you don't smoke them? I'm going to pass it over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cool, man. <laughs> it's just a habit. My bad. Um, <laughs> pass it. I, uh,. When did I get that car? I got it a couple years ago. 
Oh, this was the funny part. So that car actually ended up on Bro Bible and a couple other blogs because I was sitting around a, a campfire with a couple friends and we're just talking about dumb bullshit back and forth. We're kicking back some beers. And I was like, hey, I don't know why, but I want to order this one plate for the car. What do you guys think of it? And they're like, well, what kind of, are you talking about the, the yellow convertible? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, the MR2. And they're like, bro, this, no. Yeah, no, yeah, banana. Oh, yeah. Oh no, it gets better. It gets better. <laughs> I'm thinking you had a red one or something, no, like, or the no, blue no. one, the rabbit. I had the yellow. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, all right. So this car looks like I'm either a hairdresser or, or whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, it's 2019. Let's be open-minded. But anyways, <laughs> he was selling real estate for cats. Like. <laughs> Yeah, just pulling up, selling this right here. <laughs> but fuck, man, that's so, amazing. Like, so here's the plate. So I got Lemon Party as the plate. L M N P R T Y. -Y. Yep. Now, do you know what that is? Like, I'll, look up on your phone right now. Type in lemonparty.org. I want, I want to get your reaction on camera because because the nature of the car. Oh, I I don't want to see it. <laughs> he wants to put it up on the big screen. <laughs> oh, no, no, the game of being oh, horribly shit. wrong. There it is. The oh game. shit! Don't put that on the big screen. <laughs> don't put that on the big screen. It's down like five links. <laughs> that one. Don't put that on the big screen. Don't put that on the big screen, big dog. <laughs> Uh, Did you get a decal? You should have got a decal so people will go to it. No, that, I mean, that was the license plate. So there were, <laughs> So when I went to go pick the plate up at, uh, at the DMV in West Covina, wow. it was so funny because the guy is like just going through his shift or whatever, called the number. I'm sitting there for like two hours because it's like the worst DMV ever. And I get up there and I've already paid for it. I just got to pick it up. And the guy looks at the plate and he just kind of goes like this. I looked at it kind of. And then he looks at me and he goes, "Are you serious?" Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, "What?" And and uh, uh, that's horrible. And it had this notes and it said like Lifetime Movie Network or something. Like, like I was trying to play it off like it wasn't what it is. <laughs> and he's like, "I know what this is." He Whoa. Like, he's like. And that, that gives me so many ideas. I want to go make a sticker that is small enough to, that you can see so people can just slap it on other people's cars when they're not looking. The lemon party dog. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's going to stay on their car for a while. And the people that get it on their car, they're probably not even going to worry about it. Oh, it isn't. Like, look, 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 look. And people who are driving going to see it like, I'm going to see what the fuck this is about. Then just look at the driver like, why? Like, oh, yeah. That's how I did. Them stickers are going to be coming up soon. Yeah. I, Who owns the site so I can give them my dollar? it up on the big screen. But, uh, but so, the guy, he pushed it through. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm in a good mood. This is funny as hell. <laughs> he's horrible. like, the fact that you got this through all these channels and it's on my desk. He's like, and hey, what kind of car is it for? I'm like, it's for a yellow MR2 convertible. He's like, oh. Yeah, it's like, perfect. He's like, the plate's perfect. yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. The plate's yours definitely is perfect. Yeah. Everything fit. Oh my God, that sticker though. You need to, you should have that sticker so people just see your car. Oh. Look at you with disgust. Like, who? <laughs> Why? Like, did oh, you? Oh, there he did. Like, did you have something to do with that? <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> But what was funny is when I would drive on the 91 around like, you know, where all the bro dozers are at and stuff, they, they would pull up and they'd look at the car and they'd be like, yeah! yeah they know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking like, This dude's owning it. That's perfect. That's fucking amazing. Oh, uh, it, it, that was, I should have never gotten rid of that car. I really shouldn't have. How long did you have it for? I had it for a while and then I sold it to uh, Colin from BCL. Uh, and then he was going to sell it and then the original owner before me wanted it back so he has it now but he's even like hey I don't have space for this so I'm, I might get it back but I don't know if I can get that plate again that's the only thing. Oh damn. That's, somebody probably already did it. How long ago was this? Oh this was a few years ago. Oh, Alright. 
yeah, somebody, somebody definitely took it. But, they but bro, let me tell you this: if you have a fade tattoos and a beard, and you drive around in a in a drop top yellow <laughs> convertible, like if you are a movie producer, bro, eccentric. I, I, let me tell you this, I got some unwanted attention. <laughs> I mean, I, I Are you mean, going after this home? Well, yeah. Get away from me. Back yeah, up, like, back I'll, okay, cool, I'll follow you. Like, yeah. no, ah, no, no. No, 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 time out. Time yeah. out. It's <laughs> just a car. I mean, yeah, this is a troll. Just a car. Fuck, man. Um, Man, that's so... Yeah. That, that, that cuts that part. That's this man right here. This is Robert. If you don't know, he's fucking funny. He has a lot of car history, and now speaking of car history, the Rocky Bunny. But oh, we're not even there yet. Oh. So this, I'm kind of going off tangent off. Oh that. shit! You're still yeah. on it. Fuck. Yeah. Go, go, uh, go! I got so, you. You can smoke. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> well, I mean, you can smoke. Yeah, no, I'm smoking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to talk about that too. Oh my god, we got so much shit. To yeah, talk so about, much shit to talk Fuck. about. So. After that, I had a, a bag 350Z. I, I'm in a crew called Low and Slow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people make bootleg decals and shit for that, but like we're the original ones. Low and Slow. Um, and so there was this dude named Squires that Milt and him built this car, and like everyone from the car club kind of uh, all pitched in on this project. And it was cool. I mean, it was like slammed on some webs, crayons, and all. I mean, it was it was a dope car. It had the Akibonos, had diamond stitch interiors, some. It had a JLW a seven Z? in it. It is Z, yeah. It was metal. Because I heard Akibonos, I'm thinking like, okay, G thirty G thirty seven sedan or G I mean G thirty five. No, it's locked in one. Oh, okay, shit. All right. And then it had Acura on it. It had JL system. I mean, it 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 was pretty tight. Hot boy. Yeah, oh boy. All right. It had uh, 19 by. Let's see, in the back thing was an 11 and a half or a 12 on like a 255, and like nine degrees of camber. I mean, it was hot. Just, yeah. just, just. I, I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. This is what year? This was 2015, 2016. So it was hot. It was yeah. dead. That, that, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can definitely run that year. That that's when the bag Z's were just kind of like really getting hot. Now they're just kind of everywhere. It's yeah, I I missed that car. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that one either. But Jerry, get another one. No. <laughs> no. Well, that 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 ends that chapter. Just yeah. close that book. So, anyways, <laughs> back to the whole. So I guess here's the real Rocket Bunny story. Uh -huh. Um, God, this this was a complete accident. So I have my 240, this primer piece of shit that just went like hell. Um, it was a fun fucking car. I had everything dialed in, two-way. <laughs> two I had all the suspension arms replaced. I mean, you name it like I did it, except the car had no interior. It was primer paint. No so front ready to rock, though. Yeah, it went, and then it had Sport Max wheels on it. <laughs> Yeah, XXR from back in the day. This is from before XXR. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 reception. That's from Yeah, reception. <laughs> that, that, that was before they got called out for <laughs> this is years before that. They were still able to walk around and people were like, Oh hell yeah, you got those, I got those too. Yeah, that's a Yeah, everyone had them. <laughs> <laughs> Late oh. before time, man. So so yeah, so I had those wheels on the car. Uh and I wanted to get a set of Meisters on the car, I wanted some S1Rs, and then this kit popped up, and it, it said 4.6 Customs on the side. And I didn't know what it was at the time. I was like, damn, that's a sick kit. So I was typing in, you know, 6666, mm -hmm. 240SX, nothing was popping up. And then I saw this other decal, it said Tire Kyoto, and then it sent me to this weird site in Japanese, Japanese? Oh and it had God. like a bunch of weird little animation, I'm like, alright, this doesn't make any sense, but that actually ended up being the real site. Uh, and then randomly I was clicking around links and I saw a picture of the car, and I'm like, oh, that's a kit. But there was no way how I could order it, I couldn't read anything on the page because I used to actually read a little bit of hiragana. Mm -hmm but I couldn't read kanji, and there was a lot of kanji on there, so I'm like, I, I can't understand anything on there. Yeah. Like, so I kind of gave up for a bit, and I'm like, fuck, I really want that kit, but I'm not gonna be able to get it. And 
this is when I was hanging out with, uh, I mean, I haven't talked to them in forever. Like, we kind of had a little bit of falling out, but Mikey from Jimmy Up. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hanging out at his parents' house, and he had this little, like, setup where he would do all of his, his shirts and the stickers mm -hmm. and all that. And uh, the, the, the beginning of the empire, huh? Yeah. Basically. <laughs> I mean, dude, like, I got to give him props. Like, he built yeah. that from literally his parents' garage, and then now it's like a well known brand. And I'm stoked for him. Mm -hmm. um, you got to respect the hustle. Yeah. yeah. No matter what happens, you respect the hustle, and I like that. That's some real businessman shit. People don't understand that if they don't own business, I can't, that's why I can't talk shit about any other business that sells wheels. Said three piece. But that's me. I that just that's a personal. I mean, I know you're gonna hate me, but Jake is my boy. Yeah, yeah I'm on my own. It was, it was just little shit. Like, cause anybody who would ever talk shit about them on my page, their comments I would delete it off the rip. I would yeah. just delete it. I would I would never ever keep it on there. They would say whatever. I delete it every time. Even on my Instagram, I delete it. Cause I always felt like I don't have to talk shit about them. I'll just. Do it with whatever I'm doing, like with my business. I'm talking. Yeah, about I mean, right. here's the thing, dude. Is competition not only makes it better for the consumer, but it makes it better for you. There's too much money out here. I've always said that there's too much money out here to be stingy about some shit. Mm -hmm. I've always said that from the beginning. That's why I've never been able to hate on some other business. Like, it's too much, way too much money out here. Everybody, has especially cars. now that all these wheels are coming in from Japan, you're able to rebuild them and do all the coating and polishing and stuff. It's like, dude, just everyone's gonna have a piece of the pie. Just like exactly, enjoy it. and that that my whole brand was the whole getting them in here cheap as fuck, trying to get them as cheap as fuck. I was doing a thousand dollar sets of wheels and coilovers before Japan stopped shipping coilovers over. But yeah, I was trying to do all that shit. I was just trying to pump out as many shits out here because I wanted to get it to the point where if it gets to a lot of wheels out here, wheels start getting cheap. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to a point where Japan wants wheels back. Now we're sending wheels back for the double the money. I'm waiting for that to happen. That's going to happen in like... Dude, they buy reps and stuff over there because... I oh yeah, because that's, yeah, that's what they want out here. That's, it's a, it's a whole swap. They all want... It's just like how the carving head wheel got made. So someone told me over there that when they were made in the 90s, it was when the lowrider scene started to hit Japan. So everything kind of hit late. And so they made those, like, uh, there was a carving head and then, what was that other one? The work where it was like that, which the, one? The full face work where it was all polished. Full face, you're all right? No, but it was like, it's all like one, it's so many ones. Oh, the lead sled. Oh, work lead sled. Okay, yeah. okay, the one, so, the, 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 yeah. uh, no, it's not work, it's SSR work. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, the, uh, work is, uh, work, uh, lead sled SSR has candy walks. Candy yeah. walks are the same, yeah, all right. Yeah, so um, they made all those based on when people were doing the, uh, the builds over there of all the low riders, as it was. Like the moon eyes was. Yeah.